Here we are with the 47XL. Uh, this is for ProClean. And um, just going over some of the things about the unit. We have our accessory lines for both our pump, freshwater pump, and our pump out. And as you can see, um, there are two lines that connect to your thermal line that turns on your solenoid for your dump. That's for your thermal dump. White goes on the top, black goes on the bottom. Your shutoff switch is non-polarity, so it doesn't matter which wire you hook up to. And each one of these lines, stainless steel braided hoses, are indicated by the thermal solenoid A, as well as what's on the frame. They coincide to the same location. So I made sure that to make it easier for you to hook it up. Here is your float switch and it will actuate and become common to the two lines right here. Your accessory line is going, this is your accessory line coming from the machine. And what I did is, this is your power line going to your Bison motor. And the two blacks are common chassis ground, so you bring the ground here common with the chassis ground of the machine. Uh, electrical, uh, scheme from the engine itself, uh, ground battery as well, that's the same thing. And then the two wires come out here and they become common to each other when that float switch goes up. So this line becomes 12 volts. So what I did was I connected the white wire to say the black wire and then the white wire and the white wire from the accessory side goes to the white wire of the float switch. So the source is on this side, common source. There's a micro switch inside there that this white wire is connected to the common, and I call it the common source of 12 volts. It's a normally open switch and it becomes closed as that float switch goes up as the water level rises. So when it becomes uh, common, with the normally open side of the switch, 12 volts reverts over to here and this line becomes 12 volts. So your negative's already connected for your Bison motor, which comes originally from your machine's chassis ground. And then the 12 volts is actuated on this line here and that's what turns on this uh, Bison motor. So it's a pretty simple setup and uh, we get the switches um, way cheaper than John Don and we do the wires and everything and we hook up the wires and everything to make it ready for you to be able to use it. Uh, our price for this is right around $100. John Don charges about $185 for their uh, switches, their float switches. We carry all the accessories for all of the pump outs uh, for the PT-33s, rebuild kits for the PT-33s. Uh, we carry demand pumps, freshwater demand pumps. Now on the machine itself, there's a uh, separation fuse that separates the two circuits. So if something fails on this line here with the PT-33, this fuse will blow. It won't have any effect on the rest of the circuit. Now the main fuse for this, 12 volts, is a delayed fuse up here as well as another fuse over here and um, so if you lose 12 volts you'll more than likely have this blow first another thing is we have a 30 amp fuse here and if that blows that's you know if you can't start your engine and this solenoid is not getting power 12 volts to that solenoid starter Chances are it's this that's blown. So just to let you know. So the fuses are here, here, delayed fuse on the panel, and a fuse that separates the two accessory lines on this side. It's a real easy hookup. Uh, just, just a matter of just um, understanding uh, where everything goes. And um, we have our tachometer there that's on all the time that will uh, read the, the uh, spark field of the spark plugs in order to um, 
analog to digital. So we'll pick up the analog uh, admittance of uh, the field and then it will convert it to digital and then you'll get your hour meter that way. It also can go to time as well. We also have an extra uh, hour meter here as well. This is something we added later, but we did not want our machines to not be without tachometers. So you got, you know, basically uh, two for one. And uh, anyways, um, nice unit, well operating, well constructed, as you can see, real easy to work. Uh, we have a bypass here that basically we just crack it open one quarter turn and just leave it there. That allows the full signal of water, hot water, to not be stagnated but to move through the system in order to get full response time for temperatures that are set by your thermostat at the bottom. So this is a nice setup and you know we're selling a lot of these machines. The 47XL is a 37 horse Kohler. It has the 4LP uh, suitor belt. We can change the lines so that we go into a 45 or we can go into a 90 or just straight pipe to pipe depending on your setup in your truck. Uh, there's a lot of leeway there as to you know and setting it up inside your truck so uh, we're happy with everything we've done with Blue Baron. I mean these things are solid workhorses and we do work cash deals as well. Uh, we Maybe setting up some uh, department of financing. We do work with um, reputable lease companies and banks that can help you along in the financing of this fine equipment. So call us today at 727 505 2989 for a demonstration. And also, I just the last thing I want to say is that we are having um, roller beds that will roll out to enable you to be able to do full maintenance on these units without being, you know, especially if the truck mount is cramped inside your truck. That will be coming out very soon. Thank you.